Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? Okay, thank you. I you. Just, good. I just wanted to do a quick video here to show me what you guys did today in the room here in WTW. What did you do? Ah, right. Yes. Um, Jano played the swoosh. In WTW. Let me just see here. And I missed it. You missed it? You didn't do it? Yes, oh I my did miss God, it. Oh my God, it did swoosh. Yes, it did. That's amazing. And why didn't you do it? Well, to be quite honest, I suppose I've been, after I've rubbed my head, after I've banging it on my desk, um, mm -hmm. I... Um, I think really I was too concerned with how much I was going to risk. In fact, it was about it was over a dollar, but it was a better entry than the first. That's that's the position. That's what he called it there. Yeah, that's a great call. Great call. Yeah, uh, fantastic call. What did he get for the target? Wow, uh, it broke fifty. It, even I would have said fifty for the first target. It broke fifty for even the first drop. Um, I can't remember what he what he called for the target. I mean, I left the room before before ten anyway. So, mm -hmm. but I mean, obviously it turned at ten. So, yeah, it was a really nice move. It moved almost five dollars by ten o'clock. That's insane from where he called yes. it. That's that was a great trade. So you didn't do it because it was a dollar stop. Well, I've been trying to work out why. Um, these days, I'm tending to be a bit more precise with size mm -hmm. very aware of how much i'm risking mm -hmm. so i was too busy calculating how much i was going to risk when that big red bar happened mm -hmm. um, it was halfway through the bar when i looked at it and it, i just thought no i'm not going to take it so that was it well i mean but next time that happens you can just just hit 100 shares to get in something get the stop well, then figure it out and then you can add if you need to or whatever i mean 100 shares isn't going to kill you of anything well yes but we did the other week when i hit something and it, we had a two dollar stop and it went the wrong way right well that's well then it would be 200 but still i mean that's not going to kill you 200 dollars or 100 well, no, dollars like i say i'm very aware of how much i'm risking yeah that's uh, okay that's fine i just i feel bad that you missed the trade the fact yeah, that feel, you saw uh, yeah. that it swished though you should have tried to find some pl some place in it the fact that you were aware of that um gosh it just went straight down like a brick Jeez, it Louise. was superb. It, it really mean, was. It's like you didn't even, if you didn't do the first entry, like you didn't even get it. Yes. That's crazy. 47.76, it looks like, so low. Okay, good. Yeah, I just wanted to get an update on that. I, I got to run. I'm back on TV again today. I just want to get an update on what you did today, but you didn't do it. <laughs> so. No, I mean, I, I closed ah. out my... I, I closed... I, well... Yes, I mean, I don't know whether it's my attitude. I don't know today. I, I don't know. Maybe I was a little bit lacking concentration or what. But well, I, hopefully I watching... everybody else did it in the room. Oh, I think I think most people will have done it definitely. Yeah, okay. It was a, it was a reasonable stop. It was a, just over a dollar. It was one fourteen, I think, from what I calculated. Well, this so stock was, does move. Bad. I mean, this is. I mean, you look at the price point of this where this was. I mean, a dollar stop isn't crazy. I mean, this was up over a hundred, so it's still know. you know. Yes, I know. It's just the fact that, you know, I, I am being really, or I'm trying to be really cautious in, in what I'm That's risking, okay. especially the day trades. That's okay. That's fine. But I concentrated on the on, on my options and took my spy out, closed that out with profit. So I'm just running the diamonds now. Yeah, I would let that ride out. Ride it out into next week. Yes. I mean, you're, are you, you were up in that this morning. I didn't look at where this is at right now. I was up $200 this yeah, morning, first yeah. thing. But I, mean, I mean, you could have taken I'm it down out. 100, 100 you, now. Yeah, you could have taken it out. I think it's fine here, but you could you could have. You could have just killed everything today. Um, but, you know, it's fine if you want to hold it. Yeah, yeah, probably wouldn't be a good idea to do that, but anyway. You're so funny. <laughs> well, I know, but it's... it's, it's just, you always it's second guess different. yourself. You decide to hold, then you change your mind, then you wish you wouldn't have, then you get out, well, then you wish you would have held it. it as I've said before, the, my, my main aim is to stay in business. So, in, in fact, so I've got to obviously... Well, so then you I've should got, be getting out every single time you're up. But you don't want to, you don't want to do that. I mean, I suggested that a couple of days ago. So, I, you know, then I don't know what to tell you. But I do know one thing. You should make up your mind and stop well, changing it. And at well, least keep the same plan of action for 
one whole entire quarter of three months. I mean, between now and the end of the year, at the very least, stop changing your mind. Choose a side and stay on it and do not deviate from that. And you continue to change your mind. So, I mean, I don't I know what it. to tell you. I held it today because it gapped up. I held it because it gapped up. I know, but right away, we didn't hold the gap up, you could have got out of it right when we broke the low. As soon as you broke the low, you could have got out of it. You could have got out of it with money. But you, but you didn't do that. And you weren't distracted today by the day trades because you didn't day trade. Either way, the point is you don't have to have a plan of action when you take these trades. You have to know where you're getting out. Do you think I, this has I, a big potential yes, for a big move? Yes. Or are you going to get out for a quick profit in a day? You need to know. Yes, I agree. But I'm not in it for the day. And I look at it as such. I look at it as an option trade. I'm in it for two days at least. No, you did it yesterday. You could have got out of this today. I could. No problem so, today. You could have, yeah. Yes. I'm not Indeed. saying you should have. I'm saying don't second guess yourself. The only reason you're doing that is because now you're down a little bit. This is things do not go in no. a straight line up like a rocket ship every single trade. That's just impossible. I agree. If I was going to get out of this, I should have done it the same time I took the spy out first thing, because as soon as it starts to pull back, the price just disappears. Right. So it, so, so you didn't. Yeah. So now you're second guessing yourself. So no, I'm not second guessing. I'm okay. quite happy. I'm sitting in it. I'm okay. I'm, on, I'm only right. down 100 bucks. That's nothing. Yeah. Walk away. Have a great weekend. I will see you back next week. I, I, you know, at least you followed Gyro. Did at least you saw it. Maybe got to get a little bit better about having what you're doing with these ones when the stops are wider. I don't know. Yes, I'll have to work that out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh. Have a good weekend, Philip. You too. Okay, Thank talk you. To you later. Bye. 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 Thank <laughs> you.